Welcome back, everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the Best Damn EDC, and we are long overdue for an EDC Weekly. So that's what we're doing today. But before I get to that, I just have a few announcements. Number one, if you are not subscribed to Whiskey Knife Fight, which is my podcast with Jeremy Sires, we do it every Wednesday and every last Friday of the month, we do a live hangout where we just talk to you, answer questions, and drink some whiskey. Just hang out. Just go to whiskeyknifefight.com. That'll take you straight to the channel. There's also an audio only. It's all linked over there at whiskeyknifefight.com. Second, I am now doing a best knife under $100 video, very similar to the $50 video I did last year where I asked you guys and I asked a couple of my friends for their input and I got their knives. I got the knives that you guys selected as the best and then I picked my own and that was the best knives under 50. We're doing it again. So it's kind of like a community pick for the best knives under $100. There's a poll linked down below where you can enter your vote for the best knife under $100. And I will buy some of the most voted for knives that you guys picked for this video and they'll be included in the best knives roundup. And lastly, I have a channel called Taylor Martin. It's just where I do everything that's not EDC. I did a camping trip with Eleanor this past weekend. I've been working on some trailers, a lot of non EDC content over there, just more vlog style, casual laid back. If you wanna go see that stuff, it's also linked down below. It's linked down below if you wanna check it out or you can just search Taylor Martin here on YouTube and find it there. It should be the first result. But that channel is actually almost to 100,000 subscribers. It'd be amazing if we could get it there. But also if I don't hit a certain metric, YouTube will demonetize that channel, which would suck. So it needs some views. If you haven't gone and checked it out, I encourage you to go do so and hit subscribe. If you haven't, that'll help me out greatly and I will greatly, greatly appreciate it. But that's it for now. Let's get this thing started. Today in the cup is gonna be some Woodford Reserve Double Oaked. This stuff is delicious. If you're into that sort of thing, if you're not, then you're wrong. It's a delicious whiskey. I drink this one probably more than any other whiskey right now, but it's not my favorite. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. As is customary now, I start these off with a little bit of a pocket check and a wrist check. In my pocket today is my brand new custom. This is the Wear Knives Lucas number 18 with natural micarta scale. Boy, I love this knife. You guys were crushing on it, I was crushing on it. And on the wrist today is a watch I haven't talked about a ton other than really in my watch collection video. And this is the Oris Big Crown Pointer Date Movember Edition. This thing's been on the wrist quite a bit lately and I just love the way this watch looks. Although I still am on the hunt for a better strap because I don't like the mustache that comes on the Movember Edition strap. I love this strap, I want this exact strap with no mustache on each each side of the, the lugs. But the Oris leather straps are like $170, so that's a big no-go for me. If you've got watch strap recommendations for a really nice leather watch strap, hit me in the comments down below. Anyway, let's see what you guys are carrying. First up, we have a submission from Christian, better known as Pocket Dump Diary over on Instagram. And I chose this one because when I did the ProTech video recently, I mentioned one knife from ProTech that I really wanted to try out, and that was the Magic. This is the Magic Whiskers that you see at the top of this photo. And what's really cool about the Magic, if you're not familiar with this knife, is that it has a, a bolster lock, like a hidden release. Uh, so you slide the scale ever so slightly, and that's what releases it, and you have to slide it the same way to uh, release the lock so that you can close the knife. It's really cool. It's actually a very simple design, but it's implemented so well that you can't really see it if you don't know it's there. Beautiful design, love, love, love the knife. Anyway, let's talk about the rest of the stuff here. Underneath that knife is the Grimsmo Saga, which you're gonna see several of those today. Uh, there's also a flashlight, which doesn't really look like a flashlight, but it's the Phoenix E03R, and next to that is a Ray C, AKA X-Ray Zora Monex, AKA the Modfather pry bar. Uh, next to that, to the left of that, is the Samsung Galaxy Buds Live. And to the right is the Tudor Black Bay Red Bezel on a pass through strap. It looks like a maybe Perlon. And then he has underneath everything a Mighty Hanks Mighty Mini in red paisley. And then the tray that everything is sitting in is the Black Cross leather tray. And Christian said, really trying to reduce my knife collection, but well, you know, it's a sickness and I just can't seem to get rid of them. He also says, discovering ProTech knives has been a blessing. Whether you're into customs or production knives, the tactical yet classy knives complement any collection. The Magic Whiskers is a perfect sleek EDC carry and my seventh ProTech knife I own. My Grimsmo Saga pen is always by my side and continues to be my current favorite EDC pen. 
Falcon, the Racy, AKA the Mod Father, recently dropped this first batch of Micarta Mini Pry Bars, and this thing is awesome, little carry. Great quality work from an upcoming knife maker. Just recently acquired the Phoenix E03R, and this little torch has quickly become my current favorite EDC light. As always, Taylor, keep up the great work on both YouTube and Instagram. Plug there. If you're not following on Instagram, go do it. Go do it right now. This is a fantastic carry, some really high quality gear. Uh, Kind of jealous of the knife, not gonna lie. Also kind of jealous of the Black Bay, but if I were gonna own a Black Bay, I would either own the Steel Bezel or the Black Bay 58. All the Black Bays are beautiful watches, uh, but you know, different strokes, different folks. I'm jealous of your watch and your knife, sir. Anyway, thank you for submitting. Next up, we have a submission from iMac Death, who is actually a mod over in the Discord server. Yet another plug, if you're not in the Discord server, you should be. And I picked this one out because one, iMac is a huge help over in the Discord, all the mods are, but iMac uh, and I have been talking for a very long time and this is just a sweet little carry. So first up in the left of the photo is the Urban Survival Gear TIE Scribe Mini in Brass. Next to that is a Prometheus Beta QRV2, which is a little flashlight. He has an Owen EDC Brass uh, the dice that you see in this photo are from Owen EDC over on Instagram. And in the middle of the and in the middle of the photo is the Faro brass bottle opener from Faro EDC over on Instagram. The knife that you see in this picture is the Benchmade bug out, and of course it has brass scales. He doesn't say, but I believe those are flytanium. Uh, maybe. I, I don't remember if that's what the flytanium look like. It looks like they've been they've been polished up with some barkeeper's friend. Um, he also has underneath everything, he also has in the bottom right of the photo a Redeemed Creations Company brass key clip. He also as well as a zero feud brass stemless top at the bottom. Yeah, and in the bottom left of the photo is a Brassworks BW pry bar, an old school one, handmade, and attached to that is a Brassworks zero feud brass bead. And then finally, underneath everything, the tray in this photo is also from Redeemed Creations, who's over in the Discord. So that's the tray that I use in the photos. I get a lot of questions about what tray I use in the photos. It was from Redeemed Creations. I purchased one from him a while back just as a little backdrop for my photos and uh, it's great. It's a really good high quality tray. iMac says, I've been exclusively using a smartwatch, Samsung Galaxy watch for a few years, but would love to dip my toes into the nice EDC watch pool. What's a good one in the sub $200 range to try out? Best answer that I have for you there would probably be stick to Citizen or Seiko, uh, maybe Orient. Those would be the three brands. And really from there, you have to choose what you like as far as appearances go. Uh, if you want something kind of bronzy, brassy, you're probably not gonna find it in the sub $200 range, but there is a Timex Weekender that looks like brass. I think it's a coated case. It's definitely a stainless steel case, but it looks brass. If you wanted to match your other carry, then maybe go with a Timex Weekender. Budget friendly, they're about 40, 50 bucks. But if you want something that doesn't match here, my suggestion would be like an Orient Mako, an Orient Ray, uh, or a Seiko 5, something like that. There's a million options under $200. He also says, I'm an IT guy by trade, so the knife light pin are all essentials for getting little tasks done throughout the day, from cutting boxes, to checking wiring closets, to scribbling down notes. The BW Pry Bar has a special place in my carry because of the sentimental value. Let's just say John is an amazing guy. I can attest to that. John absolutely is. The dice and top help keep my hands occupied while on long phone calls. I carry almost all of this in a custom leather organizer, not pictured by Stone in the Discord. Keep up the awesome videos. Thanks, man, and keep keep being awesome as a, as a mod over in the Discord server. Really, you guys, all of you mods really actually help me out way more than you know. Next up, we have a submission from Jacob McMullen. You can find him over on Instagram at jakemac.153. And I chose this one specifically for the knife. In the photo, in the middle of the photo, the knife in question here is the Benchmade 940-2. Yeah, yeah, that's a Benchmade 940. It's the best looking Benchmade 940 you've ever seen, guaranteed. <laughs> that's because it has a razor edge knives reblade as well as RC Blade Works OD Green Micarta scales. The hardware on it is from XXX Adrenaline XXX. And then there's also a Lynch Northwest deep carry pocket clip on there. The pin to the left of that is a Grimm's Most Saga. And then next to that on the left is a Lynch Northwest All Access Pass 1.5 with a bronze anno. To the right of the photo is a Peach Pirate Life Kraken V2 coin. And then above that is the Dasa Fenimare 5050 wallet. This right here is pretty much no longer a Benchmade product. I think the only thing original on this, assuming he hasn't replaced them, is the Omega Springs and the liners. That's it. Everything else is aftermarket. Well, I guess the lock bar too. 
but <laughs> that's kind of funny. Yeah, I think it's awesome. This thing is sick, but I don't want to even think about how much this costs. I don't know what the reblade costs and those RC Blade Works scales, if I were to guess, are 60, 70, 80 dollars. So you got to buy the roughly $200 knife. You got to buy the hardware, the blade, the scales and the clip. Jacob says, I always have the Saga pin and Lynch pry on me. Most of the time I switch it up with the knife. Really been on an OD green micarta kick lately. Feel you, bro. Uh, and that's evident here. I cannot praise Dasa Fenimere leather enough. By far my favorite wallet I've ever owned. And as for the coin, it's just cool. That's just a rock solid carry all around. And I, I just want to ask you guys, because lately I've been just slimming down my carry more and more and more. And basically I'm down to only sometimes carrying a pen, a wallet, knife, flashlight, and a watch. That's really it. Is that something you guys are feeling as well? Do you still carry just as much as before? Or, or have you really slimmed it down? Or do you carry more now that you've gotten into EDC? I'm just interested to see what you guys think and how you've changed since getting into EDC. But before we go any further, I wanna thank our sponsor for this video, Subcase. As many of you know, I use Subcase cases on my phone and my iPad. Uh, I really like the Unicorn Beetle Pro series, but they also have different accessories like this right here. This is their universal tablet stand or desk stand. I've been using this for a few weeks now and it has come in really handy in a lot of different ways. Namely, like this right here, when I'm reading or planning a video out, I can have my iPad a little higher than I normally would if I use the kickstand that comes on the case and I can position it just about any way I want. There's 270 degrees of articulation here and you can really position a tablet or phone just about any way you can think of and it's really easy to do so. Just kind of friction locks into wherever you want to place it. I mean, it works for a lot of different devices. You can put a phone or a tablet or even something like a Nintendo Switch on here. Or if you have a small laptop, you could put that on here too. Although I wouldn't use the laptop while it's on the stand, you could put it on here to get it off the desk and maybe take up less space on your desk. It's just got a lot of different functions. It also has rubber grips or silicone grips on the bottom, which keeps it from sliding around and from scratching any surface you may put it on. But really one of my favorite things about this is if you want to take it with you when you're done using it you can just fold it up and it folds up pretty flat you could throw this down in a bag really easily they're also not that expensive at all the smartphone when there's a smaller one for smartphones it's only twenty dollars this one is twenty five to thirty dollars and it comes in two different colors and it's made with airspace grade aluminum it is a really really great stand if you want to buy one for yourself just hit the link in the description down below or go to amazon and search desk stand by subcase and get one for yourself once again i would like to thank subcase for sponsoring this video the next submission comes from Adam Desmond, or you can find him over on Instagram at Adam underscore D shoots. And I picked this one because this just goes to show we've had three pretty expensive carries, but this one is on the far other end of the spectrum. It's very budget friendly and it's still very, very functional. First up in the top left of the photo is a slim wallet from Amazon. He said there's no brand on it. He doesn't know anything about it, but it is just a slim wallet. He also has a Taltronics Sound Liberty 79 earbuds. And below that is the 511 EDC PL1 AAA flashlight. And then next to that in the center of the photo is his knife that he carries, which is the Spyderco Tenacious. And then to the right of the photo is the OnePlus Nord in a sandstone black case. Adam says, I'm looking to work on my keys. They are something I EDC, but they are a mess and I hate the look of them. I sadly don't even know where to start with keys for a good EDC. I do want a nice, clean and simple tool for them, if possible, that will fit with the colors I have. I'm also looking for a deep carry clip from Amazon for the Spyderco and some type of leather lanyard that will stand out but fit into the colors that I have. All day I'm using my phone, earbuds, and Spyderco, and I use my phone for both personal use and work a lot in the day. The earbuds help me get into a flow at work as I'm a photographer and videographer, so it helps me zone out and focus on what I need to and don't have to worry about big headphones when I'm not doing much sound editing. The Spyderco is a huge help on shoots when I'm trying to tighten a tripod head shoot to a camera or rip up some tape at the end of the day and get home quicker. So for a deep carry clip for the Tenacious, I think MXG Gear has one. Um, you may not be able to find it on Amazon. I would definitely check eBay. It's from the same place. It all ships from the same place. As for leather lanyard and a bead, uh, I pick up my leather from a place called Hobby Lobby uh, just because that's the only place around that has those spools of leather cord. Um, for a decent price, because there's a 40% off coupon you can use all the time. But you could also just get some bootlaces, some leather bootlaces. I think Walmart sells some. 
uh, and you could definitely get some off Amazon. It'll cost you far less than the spool does and you can make a ton of lanyards with it. And as for the bead, endless options. Uh, it really just depends on what you're going for style-wise. But still, really cool budget carry and thank you for sharing. Okay, we're gonna swing that pendulum way back in the other direction. This carry comes from Connor Winning or you can find him over on Instagram at EDC. That is C-O-N-Z-Y-E-D-C. This is a... Uh, Definitely not a budget carry. First up in the left of the photo is the David Lespect front flipper with Chica Burlwood scales. The flashlight you see here is a Hanka Machine Works copper trident with a full gunner grip. And on that is a Steel Flame bronze dragon clip. Uh, next to that is the pin, which is the Grimsmo Saga number 140. His wallet is a Dasa Fenimir gun deck quick draw wallet. And then the watch on top of that is the Hamilton Intramatic. And let me tell you, I love that Hamilton watch. I would love to have one with a black dial or a panda. Absolutely love this. I'm a huge chronograph fan, which you guys probably know by now, but that, that's one that I had my eye on for a long time. I ended up going in a different direction, definitely less dressy with the Damasco, but still, that is a killer watch. Connor says, I'm currently looking to improve my EDC through looking for an alternative key setup to my copper key bar that would match my EDC. I also forgot to recommend a key solution to Adam. Key bar would be a really great place to start. If you don't like key bar, maybe look into Quiet Carry, which is gonna be a little more expensive, but uh, very compact. But if you're looking for something budget friendly, I would recommend starting with Key Smart uh, or Orbit Key. I think Orbit Key would go really well with this, uh, but also maybe Key Bar. Key Bar is gonna be a little bulkier, a little more tactical, but a Key Bar Junior is gonna be very budget friendly and very simple and plain. As for Connor, um, if you don't like a copper key bar, Boy, uh, I don't really know what to tell you here. Best solution for keys in your EDC is to just not have them. That's what I've found. <laughs> I know that's not ideal for anybody, uh, but I, I've just stopped carrying keys and it's it's been great. Uh, as for the solution, what I use is a key bar. So that's really what I've come to use most or a little D shackle that I put my keys on. I think that's the most elegant solution because it's very simple, very cost effective, and it's fine. It works just as well as anything else. I prefer that I think more than just about anything. Uh, but I, the reason I switch back to the key bar is because I don't carry it on me all the time. So I can clip it to my pocket when I do need it. And when I don't just throw it back in the truck or wherever I'm throwing it in my bag or whatever. But uh, I always go back and forth between those. The last submission this week comes from Goodman Spillane. You can find them over on Instagram at goodman.spillane. And I chose this one because, well, you don't see too many whiteout carries, tons of blackout carries, tons of copper and brass and titanium and micarta but whiteout carries are so, so rare. So I had to choose this one when I saw it. And first up in the left of the photo is a Timex Weekender, which he has on a white NATO strap. Next to that is the 1.61 Soft Goods White Leather Journal cover. Inside that is a Group 11 Field Notes in white. And attached to it is a Lamy Pico. The wallet that you see here, once again, is Dasa Fenimir Topsider, this time in white. One of the only things in this photo that is not white is the Maglite Solitaire, which he has attached to a little deep carry hook. In the far bottom left are the Prive Revo Commando sunglasses. Look like little aviators there. He also has a Chicago Comb Company model number four, as well as a cotton handkerchief, and then a Keysmart Pro also attached to a pocket dangler. Goodman says, just started this year being consciously aware of the things I carry with me on a daily basis. Times being what they are, it was extremely good for me to add in a sense of routine and confidence. Regarding the gear itself, I've been in love with a clean white look for years now. The reality ties into these objects, giving me an extra boost of confidence. This being a difficult aesthetic to maintain. However, I've complemented it with polished metal. The journal cover, pen, and wallet are all my absolute favorite pieces here. I'm constantly writing things down and it feels good holding a piece of leather in your hand while doing so, especially knowing it comes from an independent maker. Everything else serves a very practical and I hope self-explanatory purpose, but are just so pleasing to carry that it just adds a little something extra each time. The watch, for instance, gives me a sense of pride when I look down to check the time. The flashlight is one thing I started carrying that I did not think I would use daily, but as I've heard others say, it has absolutely been used daily. I totally agree with that. And that is something that you don't hear a lot that I think is very, very true. People ask, why do you carry this? Why do you need this? Why do you have so much stuff in your pockets? Sometimes it's just because you want to. Sometimes I carry two knives, three knives on me. Do I need to? Absolutely not. But sometimes I do just for the hell of it. 
just because I carry a bottle opener. How many times do I open a bottle a week? Probably once if that. Most of the time it's a whiskey bottle or a can. So I don't even use a bottle opener, but I carry it because I like it. Sometimes that's just why you carry things, just because. And that's sometimes the only reason you need, actually no, that's really the only reason you ever need to carry something is because you want to. Sometimes you just carry something for the hell of it because it makes you feel good, you like it, whatever. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody. I totally get it and most people probably do as well. Thank you again for sharing Goodman and thank you all for sharing. If you did not get featured, keep trying, just keep submitting and I'm gonna keep doing these and hopefully you'll get in here sometime. There are so many submissions. Like I asked for them yesterday around noon and I got, I think three or 400 submissions in under 24 hours. So it's really difficult to share them all. I share as many as I can, but it's just tough. So just keep trying and I'm gonna keep making these videos, but thank you guys for watching and, and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one.